hyped. If we finish early enough, we can book one more thing for the trip, maybe. We need to do that. Don't you drink all my Celsius. Is that the last one you'll Don't have? Don't even. Yes, and I drank one, half of my other one, and, and then half. I came home, and he drank the other half. I'm like, oh, so she gets mad at me for drinking that half, but then if I drink her the, this half, she gets mad if I don't save her the other half. Did I get that? What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Yeah, you're drinking my Celsius <laughs> period. <laughs> all of it. You, get, <laughs> you, got, you got two halves. Uh, so if you divide by a zero, it's, it's a negative divide by zero. <laughs> <clears throat> all right. Oh, this is going on YouTube. Yeah, this is for the YouTubers. Oh, okay. Back to our no wow. normal um, intro. YouTubes. Back to our normal scheduling. Yep, yep, yep. Regularly scheduled programs. programs. <laughs> All right, hit it off. Ready? Yeah. We're all doing the intro. Oh, wow. See, I feel like, okay, that's fine. You feel like what? Nothing. Everything's on. But it's fine. Don't touch anything. Oh, mm -hmm. I can turn on your whole, mm -hmm. if everything's on. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Oh, what? Wait, hold on. Who's, who, who just went mute? Who? Oh, uh, I can't hear anything. Okay, okay. so that's so it. How are those all mixed up? I don't understand. Now, who's mute now? Me. Uh, did you just get loud? Wait, something just got louder. Yeah, because he turned you up and he didn't remember where um, your levels were. Yeah. And who's that's muted me. now? That's me. Okay, tell him to stop. Check, check, check. Hello, hello, okay. check, check. Hello, okay. hello, hello. Okay, now Abby, check, check, check. Hello, hello. Hello, check, hello, check. hello. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Check, Gabriel. Check, check, check. No, we're one, testing. Two, three, 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 so what? What was the difference from it like just mute? Just do it like a notch, like a <laughs> yeah, like a decibel or two. Yeah, yeah that's fine. Yeah, that's okay. Good. Wow, another. <laughs> We're good. Go. Another what? Oh my god! Let me just have inf unfinished thoughts. Just say it. Okay. It's fine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Dramatic. <laughs> All right. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Daniel. I'm Summer. Abigail. Gabriel. And we are the Colombian Cousins and our wives. And as you can see from the title, we have a very exciting, long-awaited video coming today. <laughs> Another guide, Ooh. which has been re requested forever. Yeah. We Since, like these. We like these things. Yeah. We learn a lot mm -hmm. and they're just really good to watch. Even before the Taylor Guide, which we watched a while back now. Even like even leading up to that one, that was requested the most, but this one was like right there with it. Wow. So I was, and even like we'd get DMs. I'm like, we'll get to it some eventually this somehow. This a long time <laughs> coming then. Yeah. So over on Patreon, we kind of came up with a new approach as to how to watch certain things that may get accidentally forgotten about or mm -hmm. something in the right. Oh, uh, yeah. And so we kind of <laughs> created these like a, a concept of like these different categories of like these fan made videos or or songs, music videos. Or it could be like a compilation video, like all these like different categories, and we create polls off of them. Um, but before we started that, we we did just a general poll for anything, like literally any BTS video, and this one won. Wow! And there was I don't know like fifty <laughs> submissions. We got the top eight, and it was neck and neck. One and two were like this for a while. We'll, we'll see what number came. two is. But then yeah, the last couple bit. of days, it just mm -hmm. crept ahead, Pulled and we, we we waited to see it. I was like, nope, it, it definitely won. Yeah. So for probably for good reason. Um, but yeah, so the most beautiful life goes on. The cool thing about these is that it updates. So you can see in the title, it's 2022 update. Mm -hmm. nice. So that's, that's pretty cool. It, I think um, it, they said April. So was it April? Fairly recent. Yeah. yeah. I mean, within the last year. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And there will probably be one this spring or May or something, mm -hmm. which is pretty cool. That they do that. Yeah. I like that. Little things get dated. I mean, even the Taylor guide, I think only went up, up until like 2020 or something. And as good as that video is, there's mm -hmm. like a whole two years worth of content mm -hmm. that's not in there. that isn't talked mm -hmm. about in there. Yeah. So beside that, I don't know. I think it, from what we know, it kind of goes back to the beginning and it shows like a general story of their progression. Mm -hmm. 
Man, so, imagine putting that mu- that many years into 45 minutes. That's tough. I know. That's <laughs> well, that's even okay. the... So the Taylor Gatto was more about like... It talked about them, but it talked about them individually. Yeah. So maybe this maybe is just little... from the day they became a group and how they got to where yeah, they are. Yeah, I don't know. To which we've seen some I... of their early songs, which is maybe a little reference like No More Dream or... Uh, you know, some of those older songs that are that we just watched up until like their most latest stuff. So very good. Right. Good. Nice. You take it away. Do I have anything else? <laughs> Careful. What else could we say after that? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Did we already say something about the year 2022? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm just kid, a kid. That was a good one. His delivery, sometimes you can't tell yeah. when he's jumping. He's got that dry humor, like, yeah. uh, was it V? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I remember we watched that. So like, people are like, he's the gave reminds me of V sometimes. Mm-hmm. And- I keep getting distracted. This is off topic, but there's a hair on your microphone. <laughs> oh, You're sanity. welcome. We're all about sanity here at CCW Studios. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We are ready. Okay. Let's go. So let's hop in. First things first, a big announcement and a change to the channel. We are rebranding. Oh. The era of the Asian theory is over. We are pleased to announce the new channel name. Oh, Rice Wait Squad. for it. Oh, Rice spoiler Squad. alert. We believe that represents our brand and who we are as a channel. Oh, that's a nice that little intro. That looks pretty nice. I like the score. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Ooh, major. Nice. Does he have a lollipop? Lollipop, uh-huh. yeah. We may not need the subtitles. We'll see. Oh, it has like their full names. Yeah, their, their, nice. their names, yeah. Yungi. Yungi. Young Ho Seok. Park Jin Lin. Hair looks great. Yep. <laughs> yeah. All of them, usually. <laughs> yeah. Tae Young. Junk cookie. Are those, what is that? Lemon drops? <laughs> so oh, see, look, look at them. This is. Back in the day. This music. I know. I know. Am I watching Last Samurai? <laughs> I know. <clears throat> wow. Man, well, well really done on the good intro. intro. That was dramatic. Yeah. For this video, we've partnered up with Vapor95. Vapor95 is an LA-based company that makes really cool aesthetic clothing and home goods about anime, vaporwave, and retro 80s and 90s artwork. This beautiful cherry blossom shirt is actually from Vapor95. Use the link in the description below to get 15%. (laughs) Get graphic tees, sweaters, hoodies, tapestries, merch, you name it. Just click the link below. Now, onto the video. Today, everyone knows the name of BTS. They've been invited onto late night talk shows, they've shattered records, they've sold out stadiums, they've made it onto the big screen. These days, you'd be hard pressed to find someone who didn't know who these guys were or yeah, I haven't heard at least one <laughs> of their songs. Making us look bad. Don't, either they've been living under a rock oh, or oh, hey. hey. years old. Hey, oh, hey, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> we have a bone to pick. No, I'm kidding. I knew, I knew, uh, I knew very little, so I'm I fall in that category basically. Yeah. I don't. I don't wouldn't say anything. I'm living under a rock, and I'm definitely not a hundred years. Not old. yet. <laughs> no, we're not there yet. <laughs> I don't know. It's just there's certain parts of mainstream media that le- that people don't like. Some people know about the Marvel movies, but they don't know they don't know anything about them. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. they just know the name. Like, but oh, but yeah, they at Marvel. least know the name. So maybe it's. Pretty bad that we didn't know what BTS I had, was. I had never heard the name. Yeah, but it's like, if bad. you ask, like, we have, like, not we're watching it, it'll come up in conversation sometimes, and I'll mm-hmm. ask people, and I'd say six out of ten, they're like, oh yeah, that group. They don't like, they will know of them, mm-hmm. but, but there's no, still like nothing. three or four out of ten that are like, I don't know what BTS. Is. Well, we've come a that's long way, us. guys. We were living under a rock, and look at us now. We've come so far in a few months. We have. <laughs> I just have to say. And we're like. We've like inched forward, barely. <laughs> Just an inch, but that's pretty big. It is. But it wasn't always like this. The very existence of BTS can be owed to the founding that face. father, an innovator by the name of Hitman Bang. His idea to create a rap group was somewhat inspired by YG. 
In the late 90s, he experimented with this idea with different trainees, eventually choosing seven members. And while three of them eventually left, the remaining four, <laughs> Teddy, Danny, Jinhwan, and Baekhyung, debuted in 1998 as One Time. Their first album, titled One Time oh, the way they're dressed. was one of the year's best-selling albums and won several awards, including the Global Disc and SBS Music Awards for Best New Artist and KMTV's Award for Best Hip Hop Artist. The, the quality. I was about to say, that quality. It's come a long way. <laughs> before going on indefinite hiatus in 2006 due to their mandatory military service. The year oh. was 2010, and the five-year-old company Big Hit Entertainment had previously signed two artists, 88 and 2AM. They had their share of successes, but they were very traditional K-pop groups. Big Hit wanted a fresh new sound, and upon listening to One Time, CEO Hitman Bang Si Hyuk had decided that that was the sound that he had been looking for. And on top of that, the youth needed someone to relate to, but more importantly, to look up to. He decided that he would create a hip-hop group. At 15 years old, I'm June. Kim Nam Joon auditioned for a certain Big Deal Records, which he completely botched, forgetting the lyrics to the song he was performing. <laughs> After oh, his fellow rapper Sleepy recommended that he try auditioning at another label, Big Hit, and even put in a good word for him. To oh, one of the man. At age 16, Nam Joon auditioned in front of Bang Si Hyuk himself and instantly impressed him. He was offered to deal with Big Hit <laughs> on the spot, which Nam Joon accepted and became a trainee, officially choosing a name for himself. <sighs> okay, I know it's a long video. I got to pause to say this. I got goosebumps a little bit because like, I kind of did too. Right? Yeah. Cause like that's cause it it things could have gone so many different directions. He could have not ended up on BTS had he done well, mm -hmm. or he could have failed and then like given up. Mm -hmm. If it wasn't for that someone else saying he's dropped for someone else called Big Hit. Considering where they wow. are now, like how easily <clears throat> that could it could have just a slight deviation and he's yeah. not on BTS. Yeah, that's crazy. That's cool. Destined to become the leader of the newly created group. He has dreads. Now that a fearless leader was chosen, like I dreads. didn't see that. They needed more members. I won't wind it. We'll look it up later. <laughs> uh, the oh, other rapper. Okay. Min Young Gi was a 17 year old living in Daegu. In oh, nice. Basketball he is a basketball fan. He had been interested in music, especially rap, from a very early age. And despite his parents' disapproval, started performing as a rapper while still in high school. He quickly gained attention as a rapper and producer in the underground hip hop scene. One day, he saw a flyer for a rap competition called Hit It and decided to participate. And so although got he only place. placed second, the company yeah. hosting the competition, you guessed it, Big Hit, decided to sign him on as a producer. Hitman Bang spoke oh. with him afterwards, convincing him to join a newly created hip hop group. He told him to just focus on rapping and assured him that he wouldn't need to dance. He was lying. <laughs> and just like that, the new group he had lied. a second member known as Suga. A combination Aww. of the first two syllables of shooting guard. His favorite. Oh, oh wow. That's cool. I so feel like the Taylor guy may have cool. said that. Brand new information. Oh, I don't feel. Yeah, well, I, don't I mean, maybe. Remember. That was a long time maybe ago. Maybe I did. Yeah, that was. That's crazy. Hold on, I gotta. They wouldn't stop there. Rappers were nice, but Big Hit actually needed <laughs> a dancer. Damn! Jung Ho Sok always loved dancing. He was in the starting lineup of the Dang. dance crew Neuron in his hometown, Gwangju. He was oh, good wow. at it too, winning several local championships and even winning a championship at the national level in 2008. Wow, okay. he did perform at several competitions hosted by JYP and even won some of them, he ultimately went on to audition for a smaller, lesser known company. Big hit entertainment. His Man, dance skills and strong stars aligning. rhythm made him an instant favorite, and he was signed on as J Hope. Not only that, but they saw potential in him to become a rapper, which at this point he had little experience with. However, J Hope made the decision to leave Big Hit until RM convinced both J Hope and Big Hit that the group wouldn't be complete without him. Wow. With the addition of J Hope, wow. the rap line was complete. Now they needed some singers. Now, just like how RM, an amazing rapper with a ton of experience, was chosen as the first official member of the rap line, it would only make sense that a legendary singer and dancer would be the perfect first member of the vocal line. Right? Oh, the local line. Jin. Jin. But Kim Sok Jin didn't have any sort of experience like that. 
Believe it or not, one day when he was walking on the streets of his hometown, Anyang, he was approached by a representative of SM Aww. Entertainment with an offer to work for the company. In typical Jin fashion, he never followed up with them because he believed it to be a scam. <laughs> Apparently, Jin was a very good looking guy That's because fair. years later, this time as a college student in Seoul, he was once again approached on the street, this wow. time by an executive at Big Hit Entertainment. It's like wow. fate. Yeah. Dang. All of that, like everything has been... He didn't sing, he didn't dance. He was at school to become an didn't actor sing. and decided to That just doesn't make any sense. Actor. Big Hit, however, had different plans for him and convinced him to become a vocalist for their new group. To do so, he literally learned to dance and sing starting from zero. Wow. How like, in the world did he get that from that other late. vocalists? I got goosebumps again. What? Yeah. I just kind of assume you're born with that. Like, if I tried to dance like that, <laughs> no way. Yeah. He's like, okay, we don't want to be me, but we made a mistake. Uh, yeah, you're out. Uh, we're going to need to, yeah. So Here's a couple of tickets thought, for our next concert. And yeah. We thought wrong. Okay. There's no way, yeah. That's, that's crazy. crazy. Which all of them, like, considering. But even just singing, I feel like that's even It's hard more. to, yeah. How do you teach that you in learn that short to sing amount like of time? Jin. Yeah, I don't know. Like, let me just try. I don't know. I, I have, I, I know like a couple of people who try to like train themselves to sing and they got like, yeah, okay. Like, oh, that's a nice voice. Not like an amazing voice, but like he's singing for like an international group. Right. Yeah. And has solo songs and that's just crazy. And it, it's like J-Hope was like winning all these competitions and like one of the best dancers in the country. And then Jen was like just walking down the street. <laughs> yeah. And so he had to like level up. That's wow. that's crazy. But even for J Hope, they're like, "You're a good dancer. You're gonna rap." And he's like, "What? Oh, okay. okay. I mean, I don't rap." Oh, and then what was it? I they try. they promised Sugar he wouldn't have to dance. It's like, all like, of, yeah. How funny! They've all just had to learn to adapt. Yeah, yeah. that's really cool. What but, I mean, no, I'm, I was just agreeing. Yeah. yeah, here they are. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was gonna say that too. Yeah. <laughs> Stop taking his lines, Abby. Come on, guys. Okay. <laughs> Yay. John oh. <laughs> Jung Cook initially oh. had dreams of becoming a band -in player when he was young. But after nice. seeing G-Dragon perform Heartbreaker on television, it influenced him to want to become a singer instead. Because of this, Aww. at only age 14, he decided to audition for the South Korean talent show, Superstar K. He didn't oh pass auditions. Oh but this was Aww. just enough to catch the eye of not one company, not two Look companies, how shy he but looks. seven different companies. Wow, they saw, wow. They saw the... FNC, Woolen, Starship Entertainment, TS, Cube, and of course, Big Hit Entertainment. They so saw the potential. So why did Jungkook, given the choice of all these bigger companies, decide to go with the relatively small RM. Big yeah, Hit? He, the answer uh, was simple. Because he thought, and I quote, RM was cool. <laughs> to sign with them. That brings the number of members. Like what a fourteen-year-old. The next member yeah. of BTS was just as surprised to find Big Hit as Big Hit was to find him, and it almost didn't happen. Oh, one of them was just like a last-minute addition. Was it V? Yeah. Kim Taehyung was always passionate about music, and it was always his dream to pursue it as a career. However, it was hard, as his family was poor, his parents being humble farmers. His father told him that if he was passionate about music, he should learn an Aww. instrument. And That's he the one he was talking to on the phone. Yeah. practicing with the saxophone. One day, one of his friends decided to audition for Big Hit Entertainment when they were holding auditions in his hometown of Daegu. Taehyung, being a good friend, came with him to keep him company. But when one He's of the, the team was in charge that. of the audition saw Taehyung, he encouraged him to audition as well. With nothing to lose, he did. That day, he was the only one in Daegu to move on to the next round wow. of auditions and eventually became a trainee for Big Hit Entertainment. They decided to keep him as a surprise member and didn't want to reveal him as one of the members until his debut. Yeah. In the same vein, Big Hit had him choose something mysterious for his stage name. He decided to go with V for victory. Here seems like oh. a nice round number to stop, right? <laughs> so Six cute. members for a new hip hop group. I never knew that. And three mm -hmm. vocalists. I was honestly wondering earlier why he went by V. Because it v. had nothing to do with his nothing, name. Nothing. His name. And all the rest of them, it's somehow tied to the name yeah. a little bit. So Jimin's the, the, the last, last one, one. Which I wonder why they went with him. They had a good round. That's what you just said. They had a good round, round number, number. Six people. But Jimin can, he, surely he was already trained. He could dance and sing already. Yes. So maybe he's kind of an all-arounder. Exactly. Yeah. But I remember saying this in the Taylor guy. I wonder how his friend feels. That, I that know. Went with. Yeah. I know. He's like, ah, oh, you just come support me. And he was like, what do you mean you got a call back? Like, well, he's like, man, it's, it's been a couple of weeks. I haven't heard anything. <laughs> like, hey, he's you like, got uh... so about, so about that. that. <laughs> Hopefully they're like still buddies and he gets to go to concerts and stuff at least. Yeah. Yeah. 
happy group, but still there was something missing. Some one was missing. Someone that could take this already great group of artists and push it even further to achieve perfection. A powerhouse. Someone so naturally talented that they could stand out mm -hmm. in a room full of already talented artists. This Dang. project that Big Hit had embarked upon needed a capstone. Uh, do you think inter Jimin? Do you uh, think they're Jimin biases? <laughs> the way they introduced them just bro. then. <laughs> I mean, they, they're not lying, but it's like yeah. they they placed them up here, which is true. He can already do it, everything. Yeah. Let's see what the reasoning. Park Jimin was a naturally talented dancer. When he was in middle school, he attended a dance academy and continued to pursue dance at Busan High School of Arts, where he studied contemporary dance and was the top student in the whole modern dance department. How Impressed cool. by his raw talent, a teacher encouraged him to audition for Big Hit Entertainment, who were holding auditions in Busan. He was only 16 when he passed the audition and moved to Seoul to become a trainee. He was the final member of the group, and wow. he also had the shortest training period. Interesting to note is that the group feels very much ragtag because, in a sense, with the exception of Jimin and J-Hope, it was. RM auditioned for Big Hit because he didn't pass his auditions with the first company. Yeah. And despite their amazing talent, Suga and Jungkook didn't win the competitions they were in, but they signed on with Big Hit after the fact because of their high quality performances. V never even planned on auditioning, <laughs> but just decided to do it on a whim. And Jin- Jin was walking they, down they the street. just found Jin on the street. <laughs> Perhaps it was fake. This the was street. the group that they chose. The and That's like crazy. That, in 2012, I just have permanent goosebumps. Really I, I know. I'm like, I didn't. Like, this is so cool. It's nuts that we've. This is the step. Like, the, the more we've been watching them and, like, learning a lot about them, you feel like we got, like, the big. Like, yeah. the big storylines. But those are pretty. That's a pretty big, like, piece of information yes. we didn't know. Yeah. Like, at all. That's Which so is crazy. nuts by now. Like, we, we've gone this long. We don't even know what V stands for. I know. You know what I mean? That's yeah. crazy. Crazy. As we don't know nothing. I know. Double negative. <laughs> Double negative. <laughs> the Bulletproof Boy Scouts, or simply BTS. Bulletproof Boy set. Scouts. Uh -oh. They had the group, but they still needed the music. In early 2013, they set out to create some social media presence for themselves before officially debuting, posting song covers on both SoundCloud and YouTube, which okay. you can still Smart. go watch today. Oh, wow. In May, Big Hit launched a countdown clock on their website in preparation for BTS's debut album, complete with a trailer and a ton of promotional material, including photos for the first time of all the members in the official lineup. <laughs> Finally, the big day came. June 12th, 2013, for school. BTS mm -hmm. held a press conference and a debut showcase where they oh performed God. their two singles, No More Dream and We Are Bulletproof Part 2. The same day, the Too Cool For School album, as well as the music video for No More Dream, were released. Yeah. Just... The very next day, BTS performed the song again on their official debut stage on Mnet's M Countdown. It's a pretty this banger the first song. First yeah. mm -hmm. BTS. Commercially, the album didn't do extraordinarily well. The lead single, No More Dream, peaked at 124 in Korea, and the album sold only 24,000 copies during its first year. Bulletproof Part 2 didn't even chart. The first year wasn't all what? that great for BTS, but despite everything, people saw them. Mm hmm. It's all it takes. People saw the sparkle in their eyes and their limitless potential. God, and so they were hot, of course. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> established as BTS's official fandom. They made their comeback only two months later in September when they released their single, No, along with their EP, part two of what would be their school trilogy, Oh, Are You Late 2. In the music video for the <laughs> single, they made a commentary on the harsh Korean education system. Oh wow, we haven't seen this. We haven't seen any. <clears throat> no peaked at 92 in korea but also quickly fell off the charts the album debuted mm. at number four on the gallon weekly chart and was the 55th best-selling album in south korea that year this was enough to secure them the coveted new artist of the year award at the mellow oh. music awards the golden disc awards and the soul music awards nice. part three of the school trilogy was released in february of 2014 the ep school love Affair. oh so it was a this school time, trilogy the lead single mm -hmm. was boy in love <laughs> And song. the other single being Just One Day. Oh. 
The album, as oh. well as both okay. singles, enjoyed moderate success with the album Sounded topping good. the Gallon album chart, as well as making its first international appearance at number three on the Billboard World Albums chart. Wow. The album also marked their first distinctive change in theme, focusing more on school life and young love, as evidenced by their Boy in Love music video. They also held their first fan meetings with a crowd of 3,000 in Seoul. 3,000! That That's... Until July. This is, unfortunately, a dark chapter in the lives of BTS and What? Army. That's right. American Hustle Life. I'm joking, of course, oh. but American oh. Hustle Life was a reality show put together by Mnet that brought BTS to Los Angeles where they had the unique opportunity to learn the true ways of hip-hop from the masters. And what? it was a pretty darn cringy opportunity, but an opportunity cringy. nonetheless. But whatever you oh do, just God. don't watch the war in Coolio? Love. You've been warned. However, cringe and all, the trip proved fruitful for BTS, making connections, performing their first U.S. concert for free in front of 200 fans, as well what? as the first KCON. The next month, in August, BTS released their first full-length studio album, Dark and Wild. The album featured two I singles. Heard that. I haven't heard that one either. Danger. Oh, I've heard this recommended. And War of Hormones. Oh man. I've heard of. I've heard people recommend this one too. The album featured a marked shift in sound with a touch of R&B and electronic. I was about to say, it that had a lot of electronic sounds in it. It peaked at number two in Korea, selling over 200,000 albums. Now up to number two. In October wow. and again nice. in May of the following year, BTS won on their first and second concert tour. They grew fast. the Red Bullet Tour, where they visited 13 different countries, including Japan, the Philippines, Australia, cool. the US, Mexico, that promo and cool. yeah, yeah, it is. They also came out with their first Japanese album in December, Wake Up, featuring many Japanese versions of their songs, as well as original tracks, Wake up and the stars followed by a japan tour and a solo concert in korea although dark and wild got some mm -hmm. attention they needed something different they needed something that would shake things up they got to work april 29 2015 was their comeback when this album was produced each member had a hand in writing songs for the album they again changed their sound from aggressive hip hop to youthful, colorful styles. And not only their um, sound, but their image as well. This can be evidenced by their yep. newest EP, The Most Beautiful Moment in Life. And just by looking at the album oh, cover, that's... they ditched the dark colors and the bulletproof vest symbol that had become so synonymous with BTS and replaced it with a simple white and pink background overlaid with the I like that the music in the background. Then, I don't know if it's there. I was the <laughs> the the guitar. just gonna say that. <laughs> I need you. Oh. It was Damn, that sounds like a good song, it was too. I know. It was new. Just by Papers, yeah, written. there's so many songs I'm we don't thinking, know, guys. I was just thinking, like, oh, my gosh. They're literally, like, the last five minutes, I'm like, I don't know that either. I don't know that either. Oh, my gosh. I've never even heard of that song. I know. It's just, like, how much we honestly don't know. We keep thinking that we made good progress. I'm mm -hmm. overwhelmed. I know. <laughs> and people keep, like, DMing and commenting, like, watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. And I'm like, oh we know. God. We know we don't so know. Um, I, I, it really brought a smile to my face when they talked about, like, their transition from, like, the dark and the bulletproof. Yeah. That, mm -hmm. Like, that darkness to, like, this now light, more youthful. Yeah. Like, it just is, like, because that's them. It, I seems, like it, ma it, it tends like to match their personality. Yeah, it was, like, in their yeah, like, yeah. hidden. Yeah. And they just couldn't let it come out yet. Hip hop team is like what the plan was and how yeah. they made their way onto the global stage. But then as they got success, they started to do transition like, hey, let's try a little bit yeah. more. And I think this like is more. probably when they found like this type of success yeah. because it's like you have to, to, I don't it wasn't a fake image. It was just a harder image for mm -hmm. them to yeah. keep going with at the beginning. So it's like you have to push harder. Yeah. To and succeed. they probably knew they wouldn't sustain that or like yeah. they didn't want to keep going. Yeah. Down that path. Yeah. But like you were saying with all the different DMs, different songs, it's I like that we're the great thing about this documentary and the way we're trying to get this music with some sort of like organization right. behind it mm -hmm. is that it puts perspective around everything yes. versus just like watching a song, having no idea that no back this is the turn. album it was on. This is the, the yeah. era they were in. This is why they did this. The, like I like yeah. that we're getting little synopsis of each song too yes because mm -hmm. it, it, it just puts it, more to the song it gives versus a better just watching story. the song and yeah. not knowing anything right. about it yeah like our first videos we just like found one and clicked it <laughs> <laughs> like, don't go watch that yeah. right now watch the first and it's like oh this is fun <laughs> like no idea like the story the story context, behind right? no yeah. context where they Do came we from even know the story behind the, our first two videos like, are, 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 like butter like and butter and yeah. dynamite yeah. I like, think they came way later in their journey well dynamite they were well. There were some made made like for the Western culture, but I think butter came, like, around the I'm pretty the sure COVID it's gonna, it's gonna come up here around the COVID point. time frame. I think I thought maybe not. 
Can I just, can you give me like a tiny bit more in my ears? Oh. One. One. It's one. Oh. Technical difficulty. Thank you. Small intermission. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Get your popcorn. That's fine. That's fine. And a couple of those songs that like show teasers of, I'm mm-hmm. like, ooh, that was good. And I like made a mental note. All right, we have to watch that one at some point. And then it showed like three other songs after that. that was <laughs> and now I already forgot. <laughs> what you forgot. Yeah. Yeah. I, know. I know. I wish I could just like afterwards pull it up on Spotify and listen to it. But we're not going to do that. We're going to wait. <laughs> teasers. All right. BTS has also ditched their punk bad boy image and replaced it with a more yep. real, vulnerable, yep. down to earth, and youthful feel. This proved to be the change that BTS needed for mainstream yep. success. Yes, Billboard sir. called it one so of the greatest K-pop songs. She just said that. Yeah. It charted at number five in Korea. I need you. We've seen that a lot the too. Mm-hmm. Music show win on SBS MTV's The Show, and that wasn't all. They released their second single, Dope, on June twenty fourth. Oh, we haven't heard this either. I've heard of it. Right? Haven't listened. Mm? No. Also, ah, 방탄은 처음이지. Welcome. <laughs> is this your first time with BTS? And you know what? For a lot of people, it, it was. was. In a way, dun, dun, their dun, first dun. studio album and tour can be seen as their stepping stone between old school BTS and new school. In November, they came back with their follow-up EP, The Most Beautiful Moment in Life, Part 2, the second EP in what would be dubbed the Youth Trilogy, which featured the single Oh, the Youth Run. Trilogy. Oh, we haven't heard this either. <laughs> We've heard about it. Yeah. Even more on the frivolity, friendship, and carefree attitude that comes with enjoying one's youth. But just like in I Need You, contrast that with suffering, depression, loneliness, society, and the stark mm. and sometimes dark reality of life. We Compare heard this about with this. The far cry of mm-hmm. the No More Dreams music video. It felt real. It was darker, mm. grittier, more humble, more meaningful, and most importantly, RM lost his mohawk. Run also <laughs> their previous single, I Need You, and another video released in September titled On Stage Prologue established what would come to be known as the BTS universe or the BU. Oh, uh, God, here we go. Talk about overwhelm. <laughs> Did, it use, oh, no. films. Did it use like a, it almost sounded like you use like a Star Wars yeah. sound effect. Cause that's like a whole, I think I use that universe. as like a, like a Marvel a comparison. Yeah, you did. Marvel to Star Wars. Like yeah. there's like the whole universe tied to it. Stories, mm-hmm. webtoons, and even a mobile game to create a cohesive oh. story. And I won't go down this rabbit hole because there is a lot to digest, but it's definitely something to look into if you're a hardcore army. The same month, they Dang. kicked off their third tour, the most beautiful moment in life on stage tour, where they performed songs from their two recent EPs, part one and part two. And part two, was bombs, a hit, bombs. their biggest so far. It topped the Weekly Gown album and Billboard World Albums charts. And on Billboard, it stayed there for multiple weeks, the first wow. K-pop act to do so. It also appeared on the Billboard 200 albums chart. Not world albums, which was reserved for foreign non-English songs, but simply the top 200 albums. People wow. at 171. Which is nice. kind of amazing considering that this was back in 2015. They also received mm-hmm. Best World Performer at the 17th Mnet Asian Music Awards. This brings us to part three of the Youth Trilogy. The Most Beautiful Moment in Life. Young oh, forever. we've seen I've this. Seen that we've seen songs on here because I recognize. Which recognized. featured probably my favorite BTS album cover. Young Forever was actually a compilation album of parts one and two. So it was mostly the same songs, but it was notable that it had some new singles. Epilogue, Young Forever, Fire, and Save Me. Fire. Latter- Save Me, that's what I recognize. Yeah. Well, and Fire. Both songs topping the Billboard World Digital Songs chart. This nice. was also both the second them. BTS album to chart on the Billboard 200 at 107. And it oh. topped both the Gowan Weekly and Monthly chart, which earned BTS their first Man, they Album exploded the at the mm-hmm. so fast. Melon Music Awards. They went He's on feeling to the it. second half of their tour, the most beautiful moment in life on stage epilogue, selling out many of their concerts and even selling out KCON in the US where they headlined the event. In September, they dropped their second Japanese album, Youth, featuring Japanese mm. versions of tracks from their previous three EPs. Which went gold and <laughs> get on here more. <laughs> and only a month later, in October of 2016, it happened. BTS dropped their second studio album, Wings. It sold mm. over 500,000 oh, copies in its first. There's a song, I think it's called Wings, that we loved in Festa and we still haven't been yep. able to hear it. And it's just been like, oh, I want to get, I still remember that little harmony thing. I'll never forget that song, that moment. And we still haven't seen it. Yeah. Where so is hope, that in our schedule? I gotta see. It's like, <laughs> our schedule's so crazy. It's in there somewhere. Hopefully, if not... We'll just put that at the beginning. <laughs> if not, we'll sneak it into a poll without telling anybody. See there, if you it wins. there you go. <laughs> <laughs> right. In comparison, The Most Beautiful Moment in Life Part 1, released just the previous year, which topped the gown chart, sold about 500,000 in its entire lifetime. Wings was big, but the true showstopper was its lead single, 
blood, sweat, and tears. That one. Which got them their first all kill, topping eight music charts in South Korea. Its oh, music wow. video gained six million views in the first 24 hours. Yeah, that music video was insane. Yeah. Remember that one? Yeah. 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 K-pop group music video within 24 hours. With the angel the crying angel. Yeah. On the Billboard 200, the highest ever charting K-pop album on Billboard. Wow. They ended up selling 1.5 million copies in South Korea in wow. 2016 wow. alone, and it netted them the Artist of the Year award at the Mnet Asian Music Awards that same year. The first First non big three artist ever to receive that award. What's the full name? Oh, nice. This is an uh, idol. After Blood, Sweat, and Tears, they were on a roll. BTS was unstoppable. In February of 2017, they released the instant hit Spring Day, which oh, quoting yes, a Korean tears. was crying. Embodied nostalgia and oh, sorrow and opened a new We need to watch this music video. Aesthetics and Spring Day. And attracted oh, fans yeah. across yeah. generational boundaries. Which, by the way, is still on Korean charts. After nearly wow. four years, and the same day I'm writing this, it ranked number 53 on Melon. It won wow. Song of the Year at the 9th Melon Music Awards. After the release of Spring Day, they went on yet another tour, the 2017 BTS Live Trilogy, Episode 3, The Wings Tour. The tickets sold out within minutes, including in the United States, the first K-pop artist to do so, and went wow. on to win Best Social wow. Artist at the Billboard Music Awards. The first wow. for a Korean artist, but they would go on to win this award four years in a row. The next year was a Dynamite. period of massive growth for both the group's popularity as well as their style. They released the Love Yourself series starting with Love Yourself Her in September of 2017, Love Yourself Tear in May of 2018, oh, another and Love trilogy. Yourself Answer in August of 2018. Three albums that gave us some of the most classic BTS songs that we know and love today, such as Mic Drop. Yeah. It's like one of our first songs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, that goes hard. That's a good one. Idol. And of course, we haven't heard this. Oh one. no, this I'm is. I'm like, good. I know this one. This one. Oh, no, this all one. three albums. I know. I was proud of this for a second. <laughs> yeah. Being their first album to top two million album sales, but Tear and Answer also did equally well. These three albums, as well as their Japanese Golly. album Face Yourself, proved that they weren't done yet. Not even close. During this time, they shattered countless records. Their singles went platinum. They topped charts. They won awards. And not only did they it's break just... YouTube records, but they broke records that they themselves set again and again <laughs> exactly and again. this is the period where bts really started enjoying global recognition working with huge western artists such as Nicki minaj designer and steve aoki it yeah, wasn't their I first drop. time having international features on their songs but it was definitely the biggest and even though they were already without a doubt the biggest act to ever come out of south korea they had their eyes set oh even my higher. god they went on tour once again for the Love Yourself World Tour. During this tour, they collaborated with Steve Aoki oh. to make the song Waste It On Me. Notable for being their first all English feature. And it also served oh. as a jumping off point for BTS <laughs> to gain a following of English speakers. Oh my Not god. That they really needed the help, as they sold out concerts even in the US leg of the tour, including at City Field in Queens, New York, where tickets sold out in 20 minutes. Are you wow. kidding? As if that wasn't enough, they dropped the movie in November, burned the stage, which in the US alone grossed 3.54 million in the first weekend. Which, <laughs> in the first so weekend? Much. This is a lot. You say movie? Yeah, yeah. Murphy. 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 <laughs> Murphy. Murphy out there. <laughs> Murphy. We gotta watch that Murphy. ASAP. <laughs> oh my gosh. Murphy. Three million in the US in a weekend. Golly, he's yeah. just like. And we didn't know about him. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, Literally. maybe we were living in How nice was your rock that you lived yeah, in? My rock was pretty comfortable. <laughs> yeah. My rock was cute. They don't fall, under, yeah. they don't fall <laughs> under the punk rock genre, so. No, yeah, you're right. Me, yeah. <laughs> Guys, wow, we're yeah. never going to get to go to a concert because they sell out in minutes. In minutes, yeah. And I, I remember jokingly in one of the videos, I was like, guys, you have to help us get tickets. And then like nicely, lovingly, and some of the comments were like, we love y'all, but Army's all, like they fan for themselves. When it comes <laughs> oh, down yeah. to tickets, yeah. it's like, like I don't care. Tickets, we're getting ourselves tickets. Every man yeah. for himself. Yep. Man, all these accolades he keeps like throwing out, there's, and he's spitting them out. <laughs> and it's just like most groups in a lifetime – that like the yeah. last 30 seconds, everything they that that's like a lifetime worth of achievement. And mm -hmm. that's just like one little split We've done that in a year. A year. In one year. Well, it's funny because I was thinking in my head, like 
it's more of a challenge for them because literally they're having to break their own records each time. So it's like, oh, we have to pressure. top what we did last year. Oh my God, we have to top. So they're not like chasing anybody. They're literally chasing Themselves. their success from yeah. last yeah. year. And then he said that. And they're doing yeah. every, it's not, they're, they're doing songs, records. music videos, they're doing movies, video games, TV shows. Like They it, have the universe going the, the on BU, in the background. They're, they're mm-hmm. doing everything. Too much. It's insane. I'm like this. We need to watch this in half speed. Because I was like, like oh what, what, what? It's like yeah. all these things, they broke this is like, this is right. This is like, I can't keep up. Okay, go. All right, wait. Set by One Direction's movie, This Is Us. In September, RM had a unique opportunity to speak at the United Nations, where he spoke of anti-violence and self-love. Two years later, he would be offered to speak on a second occasion about persistence and hope in the face of challenges. And to top it all off, in October, the president of South Korea awarded every member of BTS the 5th class Hongwon Order of Cultural Merit for outstanding meritorious services in the field of culture and art, which is one of the highest South Korean orders of merit one can receive. And that's no exaggeration. 2019 estimates put BTS's contribution to the South Korean economy to the tune of $4.65 billion oh my a gosh. year, in equivalent <laughs> to 0.3% of the country's GDP. They were wow. the youngest Just ever received one the group. 2019, Music BTS group. invited to the Grammys, oh. Time Magazine, Billboard. BTS entered a new era. Not an era of simply global recognition, but global dominance. April 12, 2019, enter Map of the Soul, Persona. Uh-oh, first uh-oh. things first, you can't mention <clears throat> Map of the Soul, Persona without mentioning Boy Would Love. It was simple math. Yep. What do you get when you cross the singer of one of the best charting songs of all time that went platinum 59 times in 13 different countries with, without a question, the most globally dominant pop group of all time? Well, you get this. Halsey. Our second song ever. Yeah. That dance. Nothing less oh. than an instant hit. <laughs> Number eight on Billboard Takes Top me back. 100. Platinum in the US. 21 music show wins. Number one on iTunes in 67 different countries. The most liked and the most wow. viewed YouTube video in the first 24 hours. The fastest video to reach 100 million views. A current view count of over 1 billion views. Seven oh boys, one gosh. girl, and seven different hair colors. <laughs> the talk of the town, invited to talk show after talk show after talk show. The second single on the album was Make It oh, I wanna right. see that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I can make it right. Ooh. By mm. Dang it, these little teasers I hate it. Wow. The album debuted at number one on Gaon and sold 3.2 million copies its first month, and that's only in Korea. It became the best selling album in South Korea ever. It swept every major Korean music show, winning Album of the Year in each one of them. They followed up this legendary EP with the Love Yourself, Speak Yourself world tour, where they sold out both the Rose Bowl and the Wembley Stadium in only an hour. Oh, the only non we, we, we may have seen some of those at Wembley. They even performed as a solo act in Saudi Arabia, the first foreign act to do that. The wow. last stop of their tour was at at South Korea's largest venue, the Seoul Olympic Stadium. They ended up grossing $200 oh million. Goodness. During this time, they also can't, guys. This is ridiculous. For mobile devices called BTS World, where the player can interact with the members. This also came with an original soundtrack with tracks unique to the game featuring Western artists Zara Larson, Charlie XCX, and Juice World for the tracks A Brand New Day, Dream Glow, and All Night, respectively. In December of 2019, the group swept the grand prizes for both the Melon and Mnet Music Award shows, the first artist to do that. Map of the Soul Persona was legendary, truly a marvel in modern music. So how could BTS follow up the best-selling album in South Korean history, you might ask? I bet they do. Easy. <laughs> Make easy. an even better-selling album. Oh how? God, that's what they did with Map <laughs> of the Soul 7. Oh. The album was released on February 21st of 2020, featuring the singles Black Swan and of course. And on. Oh. Damn, this takes me back to our early days. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And sold over 4.1 million albums in just the first week. Oh and the first Korean the first album week. to be certified as quadruple million on the Gaon music chart. It debuted at number one on music okay. charts. Okay, I feel like at this point they're just making up terms. because they, <laughs> <know. they're>, they <laughs> got so big. He's like, they're the bajillion <laughs> number. <laughs> quadruple <whatever>. million. <laughs> or the quadruple number one. So it's now like, it makes golly. sense that like when we first started that those songs were so highly requested. Yeah, because we literally just like searched it and something that was fairly recent with a lot of yeah. views. It makes sense. Yeah. Because I had forgotten about because there's so much content and we hadn't even gotten to like the bigger like Dynamite I know was big. Right. Over here. Mm-hmm. It was on radio everywhere. So I'm sure we'll get to that. But this I just is just heard insane. it the other day in the store. Oh, did you? <laughs> yeah. Nice. We heard it in a restaurant a while back. Yeah. Yep. 
all over the world, including the US, Korea, the UK, Japan, and much of Europe. It's not an exaggeration to say that this album <coughs> left a permanent mark on the world, launching BTS into Number legendary in the status world. and becoming that the best selling artist. Kinetic in Manifesto. Mm -hmm. Manifesto. BTS had scheduled a Map of the Soul tour for April of that Damn, year. Why we missed that? Undoubtedly outsold their record breaking tour only uh -oh. a year prior. But unfortunately, the COVID pandemic caused the entire tour to be postponed, including the show at the Rose Bowl, which I was supposed to attend. Yeah. But that didn't stop BTS, oh. who performed virtual concerts, spoke oh, at the Dear yeah. Class of 2020 graduation event, and released the Japanese version of their recent album with an original Japanese single, Stay Gold. Stay gold. Yeah, I'll have that one. And to top it all oh, off, this really was only <laughs> June. At this point, it was clear that BTS had already dominated their home turf, and they had topped the music charts all over the world. This time, their sight was set for the very top. Remember that scene in The Social Network where Mark mm -hmm. and Sean talk about how they don't want a million dollars, they want, they want a billion, billion dollars. dollars. How they're not interested in catching 14 trout, but they've seen it before. An I have. Pound <laughs> have you not? Well, no, that's I have. what they said. Oh. Their <laughs> the Marley, the biggest music industry in the world, the United States. And at the top of that music industry, number one on Billboard Hot 100. This small group from a company that virtually no one had heard about eight years ago planned to take on Goliath himself and dominate the American industry on their home turf. Uh -oh. And all they had to do was speak English. August 21st, enter Dynamite. Yeah, there it is. Oh. Their first like piece of <laughs> simultaneously performed better than anyone had expected, but at the same time is exactly what we as an audience had come to expect from yeah. the legendary boy band themselves. And they did it. They reached number one on the U.S. Billboard. Wow, goosebumps again. Do How many do I number have left? One. <laughs> U.S. chart. And they made sure that if you hadn't heard of them before, you definitely have now. And if that wasn't already... Oh, where's this? Flex. On October 2nd, they came the out with flex. Savage Love BTS Remix with Jason Rulo. Savage Love, Getting number one on the oh. Billboard Hot 100 again, oh less than gosh. two months after all. The <laughs> oh, which dynamite? One and two. And on 200, where they actually replaced themselves as number one, the <laughs> first artist to do so ever. And this wow. is where we stopped in the original video, October of 2020. So, what's happened since then? Well, uh, not much. Not much. Oh. He's, Except. Is he, is he exaggerating? All this. On November 20th, their fifth studio album, B, was released, featuring the hit single, Life Goes On. I heard this one. B was met with critical acclaim and hit number one on Billboard 200 and the World Albums Chart, the fifth BTS album to do so, along with topping worldwide charts in countries like Belgium, Canada, Japan, New Zealand, Norway, Poland, Portugal, and of course, their hometown, South Korea. And in spite of all these accolades, perhaps the biggest winner was Life Goes On. A synth pop showstopper encouraging its audience to continue living life even in the midst of a global pandemic. The message was clear, don't give up, life goes on. It hit number one on the Billboard Hot 100, the third BTS song to do so. BTS gave the fans what they wanted with Life Goes On. Life Goes On joined the exclusive club of only eight songs to ever top the Billboard Hot 100 that were not in English, a title wow. most recently held by wow. Despacito. But it was the first oh. time Des Despacito. Despacito. <laughs> Let me help him out. Despacito. There you go. <laughs> Just, well, I haven't heard of that one. <laughs> no, I know that one. Despacito? No? No. New one. <laughs> But Bad Bunny and Tiny, Intentions by Justin Bieber and Koivo, uh, Dynamite by BTS. <laughs> the same month, the Academy announced that BTS's Dynamite would be nominated for the Best Pop <laughs> yeah. Group Performance, along with songs like... by J Balvin, Justin Bieber, Lady Gaga, wow. and Taylor Swift. What? This was the first time a Korean pop artist was nominated for a Grammy. In December, BTS was invited to sing for Disney's holiday sing-along. <clears throat> You better not cry, you better not cry. <laughs> they sang the song Year's at the Eve, other one. Mm -hmm. Big Hit put on a New Year's concert where they performed again. <laughs>
things looked really good for BTS and their Grammy nomination, especially since on March 4, 2021, the official news came. The International Federation of the Phonographic Industry, or IFPI, announced BTS as the Global Recording Artist of the Year, an award given to the best-selling artist of 2020, Dang. period, beating out nine other prominent Western wow. artists, wow. making them the first artist from Korea, but perhaps more importantly, the first non-English artist to do so. Later wow. That, month, that, was that list. The main event that I know. <laughs> that list was stacked. For, yeah. Finally arrived. With bated breath, BTS and the world watched. And, well. And the Grammy goes to Rain on Me, Lady Gaga, Ariana Grande. Oh. Oh, oh, man. Man. <laughs> oh. We've worked hard. Let's hug. Let's hug. Oh. We've worked hard. Look it out. However, Look it out. they made history for being the first South Korean artist to perform at the Grammys after presenting at the Grammys the year prior. March 31st, 2021, oh, that's, Hit Entertainment officially mm -hmm. read. There's a song that people have wanted us to watch forever. Mm -hmm. The Grammy performance of, I don't know if that was Butter. I think it was Butter. Yeah, maybe, maybe. that was it. But it's, that's been made its way to a, a couple of polls. So we'll yeah. get to it eventually. The Grammy, yeah. It'll be cool to see them perform at an American award show yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. versus, and like, you know, how it cuts to the crowd and shows their reactions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Be cool to see. And as Hybe and completely revamps their organization. BTS now falls on their big hit music, which is now a subsidiary of Hybe Labels, a division of the Hybe Corporation. Two days later, Hybe acquires Scooter Braun's Ithaca Holdings. Scooter Braun Projects is a subsidiary of Ithaca Holdings that manages what? several <laughs> artists, including Ariana Grande, Justin Bieber, Jim oh, Ball, wow. Carly Rae Jepsen, Black Eyed Peas, Demi Lovato, oh, wow. and others, which means that those artists Hillary, are Hillary, now part yeah. of the same family as BTS. How cool. Then, at long Dang. last, BTS announced their highly anticipated follow-up single to their smash English hit, Dynamite. And that single was Butter. Yeah. May 21st, 2021. Smooth like butter. Our first song. Is this day one? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it didn't disappoint. <clears throat> the retro summer pop hit met immediate success and universal praise. Butter was yet another number one on the Billboard Hot 100 and once again topped the charts around the world. Not only that, but it had 3.9 million viewers at its premiere, which broke wow. the previous record held by Dynamite. It also broke oh. the record for fastest YouTube video to reach 10 million views and 100 million views. 13 in 13 minutes. minutes. 100 million in 21 it was minutes. the most viewed music video on YouTube in the first 24 hours with 108.2 million can't. views. Once again, surpassing the 101.1 million views set by Dynamite. And finally, at 11 million streams on its <clears> first <throat> day on Spotify, it once oh again set a new world record. And as an amazing gesture, RM makes a shout out to BTS's fans, ARMY, who helped them get to where they are today. He dresses them up. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Wait, what? I Excuse me. Could I be here that? I hit the Did someone fall? <laughs> yeah, sorry. I had a heart attack. We're good. We're fine. <clears throat> this was our first video we ever watched, and we completely didn't see this no. at all. We didn't even know I, what ARMY was. I, yeah, I don't think That's we even knew the word. That's why we didn't know. I think so. after we watched our, like we did our video, and then it just kind of randomly started getting a lot of views, which we didn't really ex like fully expect that mm -hmm. those many views. They were like, they were, I remember being curious and looking up other reactions to this song mm -hmm. and everybody flipped out at this. I was like, God, we told him. We didn't <laughs> yeah, even know. Yeah, I was. did not even notice. He's like, oh, they're just they're like, oh, weirdly weird leading little... against each other. Yeah. That's fine. That's cool. Weird little like, poses. Oh, they're, yeah. shake, they're shaking hands. Not me. Oh, that's fun. That's fine. <laughs> He's going to cool. YMCA. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. They're, they're, playing, they're playing the YMCA song. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty cool. That, I guess it's the first time they like directly shouted out ARMY, like oh, very yeah, implicitly. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sorry, I scared you. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All of and this that note. Say mm -hmm. it was really big. Mm. Their new single broke streaming records on Five Spotify and YouTube. Obsessed with this song. It is <laughs> really, really amazing. I mean, what is the inspiration behind the new song? Butter. And butter. 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 <laughs> butter. butter. That's what butter is about. Butter eventually became Billboard's longest running number one song of 2021 spending 10 weeks atop the chart, wow. beating out wow. Olivia Rodrigo's driver's license. Wow, I really like yeah, that song. <laughs> that's a big song. Oh, you know that one, baby? Yeah, I do. Oh. <laughs> a drink and fry. Chicken McNuggets. And oh. one more thing. What is this? Two more is this a McDonald's Sweet commercial? And cage. On May 26th, <laughs> BTS meal launched. What? The BTS <gasps> meal? McDonald's. Yeah, that happened. <clears throat> ba -da -ba -ba -ba. What? Come on. Is, this is it still out there? No, I want We're going McDonald's. there after here. Yeah. <laughs> Known as BTS the best. It instantly hit number one on Japan's Oricon chart and sold over one million albums. The first and only Ooh, Korean boy group so far to that acoustic. I know. The new Japanese single, Film Out, was released two months earlier and they Ooh, I like Wow. Hair. Have we ever seen him with Blondie like that? I don't know. 
and as it sounds good. Fact, got a list of that 185 on the Billboard 200, excluding U.S. chart, joining Dynamite and Life Goes On, making BTS the only artist to ever have three songs in three different languages on the Billboard 200. On July wow. 1st, wow. following an organizational restructuring, the Hype Corporation announced that Hitman Bang, our same Hitman Bang who got the boys together, resigned as CEO of the company in order to oh. focus on his passion for music production. And while he is still the chairman of the board of directors, he was replaced as CEO by Pak Ji Won. On July 7th, BTS became official models for Louis Vuitton as they walked the runway for part of their men's fall Goals. winter. Wow, mm -hmm. <laughs> Goals. They were named as ambassadors only two months prior. And then for their teaser trailer, they forgot to put V in the video. Oh, Damn, what? That's messed up. How do you, how do, you do that? that brings what? Us to July 9th, that's rude. Could you imagine rude. how upset <laughs> ARMY was? Especially yeah. those that have like V as their bias. Yeah. Oh, man. I, I mean, we've got like they're like watching it waiting and they're like um like waiting waiting <laughs> oh damn how do you do that though i don't know this guy it's said fun. it kind of like like it wasn't a big yeah, deal like, oh, oh they yeah. forgot haha ha. they fired yeah. the guy who forgot underneath like, he, has, like, he has the fist meme he's like <laughs> the, the art, yeah. he's you like, know how many mad. people that had to go through to get approved and they didn't include him they weren't bts fans Fire. guys what's the story behind this can we can y'all let that's, us know i don't know why it stuck out to me that's just crazy The hit song, which was written by Ed Sheeran, spreads positive Ed vibes as the world starts to recover from the global pandemic. Oh. Its YouTube debut saw 72.3 million views in the first 24 hours, placing itself at number 6 of the top 10 most viewed music videos in the first 24 hours. Out of BTS's past 5 singles, 3 of them have Ooh, been fully in dance. English. And while this wow. trend oh, has been concerning for some fans who have been wanting more traditional Korean pop songs, there's no denying that BTS has enjoyed global recognition like yeah. no other international and particularly non-English group before them. And that itself is a sign of success that can't be ignored. Wow, and that's a really good fact, spin. Yeah, there's was. a line in the song referencing legendary singer-songwriter Elton John. When it all seems like it's wrong, sing along to Elton John and to that feeling. He gave the song his personal approval. Mm -hmm. Aww, wow, that's cool. Now, same one, BTS once again tops the Billboard Hot 100 with Permission to Dance, marking number five of BTS singles that have topped that's been highly the requested Hot 100. Too. In August, Big mm -hmm. Hit officially cancels the Map of the Soul tour due fit. to the pandemic. Look good, but right? To everyone's surprise, only a month <laughs> later, they announced the Permission to Dance on stage tour being their first live concert since 2019. The tour Man. kicked off with a concert in Seoul in October, but later announced dates for Los Angeles in November and December. Barely two months after their previous number one hit, BTS collaborates with legendary British rock band yes. Coldplay to drop yet Let's another go. number one hit on Billboard's Hot 100 with My Universe. Never ending forever, baby. In November, ah. BTS wins Artist <laughs> of the Year at they the get American every time. Music Awards. The American Music Award goes to a BTS! <laughs> <laughs> nice delivery. She's funny. You know yeah. who she is? She's like a comedian. Not only were they the first K-pop group to ever win the award, but they were the first Asian act ever wow. to win that award. Next, we have best pop duo or group performances. The nominees are Butter by BTS. <laughs> oh, they're wearing. And I hope they see. <laughs> That's funny. The same week, they were nominated for a Grammy for Best Pop Group Performance. From November 27th to December 2nd, BTS held its first international concert since 2019 in Los Angeles, California. The Permission Man. to Dance onstage tour. And... Well, oh my God! That's what we saw that screen. They were to perform at the SoFi Stadium, one of the largest stadiums oh, wow. in the United States, and coincidentally, it would be the same stadium that held the Super Bowl. Pre-sales yep. started October 5th for those who bought VIP soundcheck tickets, and though ticket sales for the general public were supposed to start on October 9th, they ended up selling out before it even started. Demand what? for the tickets were Dang. so high that scalpers were reselling tickets for up to forty thousand dollars. Oh my what? gosh! We one of lucky no. Ones, and we were able to snatch <laughs> the refresh and finally <laughs> see them in person. Ladies and gentlemen, we got them. <laughs> the we got them. <laughs> farewell concert. And it really was supposed to be with the uncertainty about the future of the world, as well as Jin's enlistment looming over the group's head. But thanks to recently passed South Korean legislation known colloquially as the BTS law, the group had been granted a postponement on their mandatory yeah, military Yeah, it's supposed to be 28, yeah. not 30. 
And just to show that they weren't done yet, only two months later, tour dates were added for April 8th, 9th, 15th, and 16th in Las Vegas, Nevada. <laughs> On December 6th, 2021, BTS surprised their fans as they launched individual Instagram accounts for the first time ever. Oh, oh. that came Reckon way later. The fastest yeah. time to reach 1 million followers on Instagram <laughs> yeah, in just bet. 43 minutes. <laughs> oh my God, minutes. can you imagine? A million followers in 43 minutes? They <laughs> probably said, okay, when you download Instagram, <laughs> mute notifications <laughs> yes. immediately. Immediately. Yeah. Yeah. His phone's like smoking. Yes. <laughs> That's oh my unbelievable. All right. Fastest time to reach 10 million followers. After only four hours and 52 minutes. Oh the same day gosh. they announced that they were suspending activities in order to take an extended period of rest so that they could spend That's more time with their family. Good on there. This yeah. is crazy. This is only their second break that they've ever taken wow. since their debut in 2013. Which wow. is just such a testament of how hard they actually work. The break was definitely well deserved. Yep. I'm done it. On December 11th, BTS swept the Mnet Asian Music Awards, winning all oh. four Day songs. Oh, this that's marks more. the third consecutive year that BTS has swept the awards, showing no signs of slowing down in their home country. In February, wow. BTS won IFPI's Best Selling Artist of the Year award for the second time in a row, the only artist ever to do so and only the third artist to win more than once, along with Taylor Swift and Drake. Impressive considering Big company. how new BTS is on the international stage compared to the others. On March 25th, Snoop Dogg officially confirms an upcoming collaboration <laughs> with BTS that he had been hinting at since January of the year. Funny enough, he admits that he didn't know at the time exactly how big they were. You get calls from, from the biggest artists in the world. I got a group named BTS that's waiting on me to do a song with them right now. And I'm trying to figure out if I got time to do this. Regardless, oh my God. it's nice to see BTS. I was, I was waiting for something. Yeah. And, then, and that brings us to today. Sunday, April 3rd, 2022. BTS had been previously nominated for the Grammys once before, and even then, they were by far the most accomplished and critically acclaimed artists in their category, and they didn't win. Unfortunately, history repeated itself, and they once again were snubbed of the trophy. Some might regard this as a huge loss, a huge blow to BTS and their fans, Sure, some might that say that they missed out Rodrigo? on the most prestigious yes. music award the world can give, right? I'd argue, no, not really. I'm sure if they had one, ARMY around the world would celebrate as BTS wins against all odds in a rigged award show skewed towards American English-speaking songs. Mm -hmm. But the truth is, they never needed to win an award to garner any sort of praise. They don't need a trophy to be validated. They were able to do that all on their own. Boy bands come and go, but BTS continues to prove themselves by pushing the envelope, pushing mm -hmm. themselves to the limit. BTS sets new records, they smash decade-long records, and then they replace themselves yeah. by breaking their <laughs> own records by exactly. the very next thing that they do. That's just what BTS does. From humble beginnings in their old studio dance practice room to selling out the world's largest stadiums, these seven boys have crawled their way up to the top thanks to their own blood, sweat, and tears. They dominate a world that 10 years ago would have been unthinkable for any Asian group. Even five years ago, the majority of people you'd meet wouldn't have listened to K-pop or even heard of K-pop. Yeah. In the past year, their popularity <laughs> has grown so much that we often forget how groundbreaking they are as a group. and how much progress they've made in such little time on the world stage, not only for themselves, but for Korean and Asian representation for a whole. From the early days of their first fan meetings to today, a staggering wow. 41 million members of ARMY have been with them, some since the beginning, but others joining along the way. Each one of us started following them because of <laughs> one of their songs that spoke to us, or maybe it was something that they said, or their amazing talents that spoke for themselves, or maybe it's something they stood for, or maybe, maybe you just think they're hot. And that's fine too. Regardless that's of the reason too. you initially started following them, the important thing is that you're here for it. And that oh, you're along cool for shot. the ride. And wow, that yeah. you wow. continue to find beauty in the things that they do. Because according to the group themselves, they chose the theme for their album, The Most Beautiful Moment in Life. Because in life, beauty coexists with uncertainty. And even in uncertain times like ours, we can find that beauty. And with all their talent, the members of BTS really could have chosen to do so many other things, but 
they chose to share some of that beauty with us, and I'm grateful for that. And I can't wait to see what the future holds. And that's our April 2022 update. There's been lots of crazy things happening recently, and I'm excited to see what the rest of 2022 has in store for the group and for all of us. Thank you to everyone who's been watching our videos. We're always looking to improve our videos, so if you find something that needs improving, leave a comment below. Uh, and remember, this video was made possible. <laughs> yeah, I don't have anything. Use our link in the description to get 15% off. Your wow. Room. And a big shout out for our over 180,000 subscribers. That's wow. insane. You, you deserve it. Mm -hmm. the best. And as always, thanks for watching, everyone. You're welcome. <laughs> the, oh, I like the little VHS mm -hmm. thing. Wow. wow. That was crazy. Overwhelmed. Oh, I'm like, I got kind of emotional at the end. The end, right? Oh. The same. I like, I was going to pause saying something. I was like, I can't. I just got to soak this all in. It was really good. Like just the little bit that we've experienced and you can't help but feel proud. You're so, pr yeah, mm -hmm. so proud of them. Which I, I know that there was a couple of updates just since April. And I don't know all the, the terms, right? But I know that whenever there was, a, we released a, a video around the same time that there was an award show going on. Mm -hmm. I think it was, we released MMA 2019. Or was it was, we released a, a, some video. Mm -hmm. And they had just had an award show and they swept it and won like seven, six or seven yes. awards. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that wasn't in here. Okay. So that'll be something. Yeah. And then also they were nominated again for a Grammy uh, for, is it, wait, did he, did, wait, it already, this one was for My Universe? Was that what it said? Or who was? One of them. No, I think no, it, it was, was for Butter. Butter, and then before that was what? Dynamite. Okay, so My Universe got nominated for a Grammy, and mm -hmm. they're part of it because of that. I think it's yeah. My Universe. So they get, this is like another chance to potentially wow. win a Grammy. Wow. So people have said that as far as like whenever they lost that second time, like people were pretty upset. Because like when you looked at the numbers and the yeah, impact like, and everything, it was like clear cut. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's like kind of skewed towards Western, which I can, I mean, I can see that. I mean, we didn't know who really who BTS was a few months ago. Yeah. And so without knowing all that, like imagine all the voters and everybody, like they don't, they know, that, yeah, they're big, but they're Korean. They, you know, they're more for like the Eastern side of the world. Mm -hmm. They don't understand. So anyway, they deserve a Grammy. They do. For sure. But the way he worded it was great. Mm -hmm. He's like, yeah, that would have been awesome. We would have celebrated it, yeah. but they don't need it. Mm -hmm. Exactly. At the end of the day, it's a trophy. Yeah. It's, that I'm whole just, ending was they, really they good. They already have gained enough respect. I'm just so shocked at how much they've done. I know. Like, that was like a lot of information overload there it for was. like all the, the award shows. I'm like, what even is that? Yeah, yeah, I can't. I know MMA and MAMA, and then all the other ones that they're mentioning. Yeah. Well, like they won the Ipsy, the desk. Oh, the, yeah, that one, IPI or something. That's or like the, the day, world. Yeah, and the day day song mm -hmm. award. Death song. Death song. That's like the Eastern side of the world's Grammy. Question I, <laughs> I don't know. I don't remember. We were, I don't remember anymore. We were, my brain cannot compute. I, I can't. I don't know. They've won a lot of awards. Like, long story short, they have done so well for themselves. And, like, you can't deny their, like, it's like the blood, sweat, and tears that they put into it. And they've only taken two breaks. <clears throat> I know. What's happening with them, because, like, they even made a couple of comments, like, like, a lot, most boy bands come and go, but they've persisted. I remember that yeah. was one of our first yeah. observations was, like, NSYNC and... Yeah, Backstreet they're Boys, big for a bit. They have some great... One Direction. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. But they're and big then, for a minute, and then, then they the stronger off. artist will leave yeah. and create mm -hmm. his own thing or whatever. Yeah. But all seven of them could be their own artists. Yeah. Anyway. Mm -hmm. and, they, and, they, and they are. Well, they yeah. are. And they, they are. And on top of the back together. Yeah. 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 And they persist and keep breaking their own records and replacing themselves on charts. Like, that's, that's insane. You know what's starting to happen with them is, like, every... Like, not very often, you there's, like, a talent who... Like, they're big because of a sport they play or... or they're a musician or, or musician or something, but they get so big. They like surpass the fame from what they do. And they just become like an icon, like mm -hmm. Jordan for basketball. Mm -hmm. He's a basketball player, but he came much bigger than basketball. Mm -hmm. Or like when you think of like, or, like a Michael Jackson. Or like, I think what you're trying to say is like, you can't just put them in the box of being a good basketball player. Yeah. Like, no. And that's what they're known they're for. They're just so like, much They more. surpass. Yeah. 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 They're just, they, I mean, cool. they, 
we joke about all the stuff that they do, but literally it's just because they've, they've gotten like the music industry isn't big enough to like hold them. They right. have like way too much to give. Right. Yeah. Now. So it's pretty crazy to see that growth. Becoming untouchable. And they're in their twenties. So two things. Like, two things. Yes. One. How the heck did we know who I they were? Know. I'm floored. Like I said, my <laughs> rock is my rock is pink <laughs> and sparkly. <laughs> <laughs> we were on the same rock. Second thing, I'm sad that we didn't know them through all this I stuff. Know. Like we could have been cheering for them. I thought about that this like right, right before the or right before COVID and we're doing all those concerts. Mm-hmm. I would have been amazing to go see them. I'm glad they're like touring again. Yeah. yeah. Well, now, well, no, now they're not technically because of Jen. Jen. Yeah. And it's not gonna be until 2025. So it's, we're going. I, it's, I don't care. <laughs> it's either we're a, going. It's a good thing or a bad thing that we found them when we did because what gives us a chance to really appreciate them. Yeah. Well, I feel like I appreciate them enough, and I'm sad. That I know. I couldn't appreciate <laughs> know. them this whole time. <laughs> like, come on, guys! It's been four months. That's a long time, right? I know. What you do <laughs> from this. Like, we saw so many good little like teasers of songs. We just need to do a poll from like songs that were shown in this. That video were shown in this one. And like, give us just its own poll. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. So we're. If you're still around, then I'll, we'll say this, and this is like a little bonus information, but what we're, and you kind of already seen it with the videos that we've been releasing up to this point, where the plan is for us to kind of chronologically go through a lot of their songs. So mm-hmm. we started with No More Dream and uh, Bulletproof. Bullet, uh, we, are, we Are Bulletproof. Mm-hmm. Well, from, from the beginning and on. And there will be some deviations, like we jump out of order here yeah. and there. But the plan is to go kind of in order um, with like the title tracks. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's the plan. There's mm-hmm. still a lot of B side tracks. So a lot of those songs could have been B side tracks. That's true. So that's what's gonna be in the polls over at Patreon. A lot of the B sides, as well as this type of video, which won this poll, as well as interviews and like you know, or like performances on Jimmy Fallon. Yeah, oh, ca- all the things. I wanna watch that. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. Those are we have cat we have categories and we have polls for all that. So if you wanna be involved in that, go over to Patreon, check it out. But it's been we and we're using Discord as a way to kind of get these recommendations. It's it's a perfect like recipe because we're starting to see all this stuff come at us mm-hmm. that we've kind of seen in the com- in the comments but it gets lost you yeah. Know? yeah and we have a great admin team who helps like compile all that and it gets the most popular Organize ones it's great it all. Yeah. so otherwise I and mean, we would have gotten to this video accidentally at some point but I'm, I'm just i'm loving that we have like an order to this That's now yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah so I'm shocked and embarrassed that there were so many songs in this video that we haven't heard yet. I know. I, I mean, was we, proud of us. There was like we knew four. We knew a, yeah. a few. <laughs> yeah, four I think five. I named one wrong earlier. I think I called it Idol. I don't think it was Idol. Oh, nice. Well, this is a uh, Idol. But it was just like wow. lingering. Oh, uh, lingering. That's, that's all you were thinking. I was like, what's wrong with you, Daniel? Yeah. Last 20 minutes, that's all he's been thinking. Yeah. Ugh, I wrong song. Maybe it was right, and I'm just shooting myself in the foot for no reason. <laughs> but anyway, that was that was really good. That was really good. I almost want to like listen to that last bit again, just because of the, the music. I want like, I want to just listen to that. I don't know if, I don't think it was their song. I think it's just music that they used. But it was like super like uplifting. Uh-huh. It was good. Emotional. Yeah. Okay. My brain's huh? like. What? <laughs> oh, you're looking at me. I'm like. I'm looking at both of y'all. Oh, okay. Give my, give my voice to rest. That's He's all. looking at you, making sure y'all are done commenting. Done? Yeah. Good? Done? Yeah. Good. Good stuff. Yeah. yeah. That was really good. Let's let them Probably go. Need to watch oh, should we let them go? We, we should let them go. Uh, oh, <laughs> forgot oh, you you're guys still, still here. Hi, yeah. <laughs> right, guys. Oh, hey, y'all. Uh, so cool. Yeah, well, thanks for sitting here and watching us. Watch this. Uh, thanks for all those on Discord and on Patreon and on the comment section who's been recommending this forever. And think, I'm happy this won. I fir- when we first saw it win, we're like, 45 minutes. All right, we're going to have to get our energy I drinks ready. I went in on Patreon and voted myself for this video. <laughs> but I was like, I don't, I mean, I know I'm just one person. Yeah. I wouldn't skew hey, the every result. Vote, every vote counts. I did it. Yeah. But I'm glad it, it went. It went by a couple hundred, I think. So it, it, it was fine. Okay. Um, but I'm also excited about the second place video. Low key. So that'll come at some point. We'll get there. Anyway, <laughs> uh, it's been a lot of fun, guys. Thanks for, if you're still around for watching. Um, if you haven't subscribed, consider doing so. There'll be more content like this. A lot of fun stuff. You don't mind sitting here and watching us talk for an hour, <laughs> losing our voices. Uh, this was a lot of fun. This was a, just like the Taylor guide. Yeah. This felt very like fulfilling. Yeah. To watch. Like, we've learned so much. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, we'll get, let you guys go and, uh, yeah, we'll catch you on the next one. Bye. Peace. Peace.